Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we'll see how to set up a safety tool macro in Roll20, no API required. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. So, what are safety tools, and why would you want to use them in your game? Well, sometimes things pop up in game that make your players uncomfortable, genuinely frightened, or might even dredge up really bad memories from their past. Safety tools give players a mechanism to alert you that something's gone sideways, and then you can address that situation and get back to the game. And these are especially helpful if you're running a game for people you don't know or don't know well, but even if you've been playing with the same group for years, tools like these are helpful if you start playing a new system. Delta Green is a whole lot darker than D&D. So what we'll do in this video is install some safety tools into our game, and then I'll give you a macro that you can use to help your players access those tools. So the first thing we want to do is grab the RPG Safety Toolkit that Evil Hat Productions has put out. This is available for free on Roll20. I'll put a link down in the video description. You can just grab that and then we can add it into our game just by coming in here and going Game Add-ons and we're going to say Safety Tools and we're going to say RPG Safety Tools and we'll add that into our game. Okay, the safety tools have been added to our game. Let's go ahead and launch the game. So here I am inside my game. Let's go over to the Journal tab, and we now have this Safety Toolkit folder with a Safety and Calibration Tools handout. And this handout gives information about the tools included in the Safety Toolkit. And the thing I want to focus on today are these card uses. These cards give players a way to quickly notify the GM that something's happened that they are not okay with. And each of these card names correspond to a safety tool card that is also included as part of the kit. So if we scroll down here, this is the X card, and the X card edits content out of a scene, no questions asked. Pause lets players take a quick breather before continuing on. Rewind lets you back up a scene to revise the content, and so on. And I really love this idea, but the challenge here is if something happens in game that someone's uncomfortable with, I don't want them to fumble around with a deck of cards to let me know. I want them to be able to just quickly select the card they want to use and notify me that something's happened. Of course, it's great when they just raise their hand and say, hey, something's gone wrong, but these tools are here for the circumstances when someone isn't comfortable actually speaking up or in some cases may not be capable of speaking up. So what we're going to do next is build a macro that allows your players to quickly select the safety tool they want to use and display it in chat. All right, so here's my trusty Notepad++ window, and we're going to start out here with a prompt, which is a question mark and then two curly braces. And what we're going to say here is which safety card. And then we want to give our players the choices between the different cards. So we're going to say start out with a pipe and then we're going to say X card and then there'll be another pipe and there'll be fast forward and then another pipe for frame by frame and so on. So now we've got all of our card entries in this prompt. And if we were to use this right now, go into chat, paste that in, we could see we could choose which safety card but it doesn't actually do anything right now. It says frame by frame, but I want to actually display the card in chat so it's very obvious that one of these safety tools has been played. When it's just one single line like this, it's very easy for that to get lost in the shuffle of just normal gameplay. So bringing back the Notepad++ window, what we're going to do is for each of these cards, we're going to put in a comma and then the URL of the card's image. And it's going to look something like this. Now, two things here. One, it's very important to know that this is actually all on one single line. If I go to view and turn off word wrap, you can see that this whole thing is on one line. So just make sure that you have it like that, because if the line breaks, then the macro won't work properly. So all this is on one line. Let's turn word wrap back on. And to make this easy so you all don't have to type all this out, I'm going to put this macro down in the video description. You can just copy and paste it in. But what it's going to look like when all is said and done is like this, where we have the image for each of these cards included in the macro. So now let's copy this and let's paste it into chat. 
and let's say I want to select the pause card. Well, now the pause card has been displayed in the chat, and it's very obvious that someone is employing a safety tool. So now what we can do is go back to the collection section, click add, and we can create a safety tool macro and just paste in that code that we just created. And we just want to make sure that we make this visible to all players so that they can come in here. If there's a problem, they can click on the safety tool macro, choose their card, and then it will be displayed in chat. Now, one thing I've done in my games is copied this card uses section out of the safety and calibration tools handout, and I've made it its own handout, this safety tools right here. And this just gives a real quick description of all the cards to my players so they don't have to scroll around to find what something means. And then on top of that, I've also added a link right here that allows them to activate that macro right from this handout. So if we highlight that and click the link button, you can see the syntax for that is backtick, hash mark, and then the name of the macro, safety tool macro. And that will allow us to click the button here and it brings up the macro. So the players can come in here, they can choose which safety card they want to submit, and then there it is. So this is really nice because if somebody knows that they want to use a safety tool, they can't remember exactly which one it is, they have the descriptions right here and they have a link to execute that macro, display the safety tools, and be good to go. I've been using these safety tools in my games for a couple of years now, and thankfully I've never needed them, but I feel better knowing my players have access to them, and my players appreciate them as well. So, there you go, setting up a safety tool macro in Roll20. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. Until next time, folks, have a great day.